hello guys so welcome again to my channel in this video i am going to discuss about a very simple topic and this video may be very special for beginners who have just learned what is simply supported beam okay and in this video i will discuss about simply supported beam but with the aid of example of a lip spring now what is lip spring lip spring is a suspensor spring which is used in any vehicle to absorb the shock or the vibration okay so before starting the technical part if you are new to this channel please do subscribe because definitely in future you are going to be benefited and if you are old folks in that case please don't forget to uh, share it if you like this video and also my request to you please watch till the end without skipping it okay so let's start what is this lip spring okay so in this figure you can see that this is the axle part of this vehicle and this lip spring is attached at two location this is one location and this is another location if you never see any lip spring just in the very next day after watching this video uh, watch carefully underneath of any vehicle any four-wheeler vehicle there you can see this type of lip spring okay so now here uh, what is simply supported beam while well, this lip spring itself is a simply supported beam and this are two support okay and this is the point load application okay and here you can see that the shape of this lip spring is something like this parabolic okay so i will discuss why this is parabolic and the second part is here you can see that the lip spring cross section varies here you can see only one single lip here two and here three so the cross section is just like this one okay this one it is varying now why this cross section is varying i will also discuss that one okay so let's start go to next slide the very first thing that is simply supported beam for easy support movement okay in vehicle you can see that if this is the axial okay and the lip spring is like this one okay and it is connected at two point like this one and if you close uh, if you look closely you can see that these two supports are made of a roller like this one simply rounded support okay and why because uh, the wheel is always in motion and it is always under uh, your shocking condition so it is easier to move if this support are rollers okay so here these are support and from this axial the load is coming here at this point clear and you know that a simply supported beam look like this one okay this two end are either pinned this is pinned and this one is roller and your load is applied here like this one so here lip spring is nothing but a uh, simply supported beam clear now why this shape is parabolic and also why the cross section varies okay so first discuss why the uh, shape is parabolic simply if you draw the bending moment diagram for any simply supported beam let's say this is the simply supported beam and you are applying load here okay or if it is under action of UDL okay so what is the bending moment diagram the bending moment diagram looks like this one here okay or if this is under the action of any UDL load like this one in that case the bending moment diagram looks like this one okay so here you can see that the safe the safe is just like the bending moment diagram and why it is so simply if you provide the safe just like the bending moment diagram in counter direction that means the bending moment diagram if this is bending moment diagram and your safe is this one okay so definitely you have more resistance and the perfect example of this one is your uh, parabolic arches a parabolic arches look like 
this one why because under the action of load the bending moment bending moment diagram looks like this one okay clear so simply to counter the bending moment diagram you are providing the counter shift and now why the bearing bending moment diagram and why this is cross sectional is bearing simply uh, again let's say this is the simply supported beam and you are applying a load here okay and bending moment diagram is this one okay so let's say here bending moment diagram is m1 and here this is zero so if you design this beam for bending moment m you know that cross section that is let's say simply consider a rectangular section okay so in rectangular section you know that for bending moment m sorry so sorry for the interruption okay so if bending moment is m in that case you know this is the cross sectional is proportional to your z or section modulus okay so more is the bending moment more is the section modulus clear and what is section modulus z z is proportional to your b sorry d square okay if you don't know what is section modulus in that case you can go to the playlist and there you can see what is section modulus and there i have discussed both plastic section modulus as well as elastic section modulus okay so for the right for the right now just consider that section modulus is proportional to your d square what is d d is the depth of your section so from this this is clear that if bending moment is more let's say m in that case for m1 d is d1 for m2 depth is d2 and if m2 is less obviously d2 is also less so simply again we can say that consider two condition okay so first draw clearly the beam okay and this is the load and this is the bending moment diagram okay and here bending moment is maximum here less than this one this middle one and at the end this one this is less compared to this one so here if depth is d sorry let me mark it with your black color let's say this is d1 and this is d th sorry this is d3 okay and the middle one is d2 so of course d1 is maximum then d2 then d3 clear so you need to provide a section just like this one okay your section look like this one clear and your support is here this is your support and you applying load here so now again go to the lip spring so in your lip spring this was the support this was the support and this was the point of load application or the action location so now it is clear to you why lip spring looks like this one and why this is a perfect example for understanding your lip spring okay so thanks for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to share it and also don't forget to make any comment if i have said anything wrong